All right, we're out here at the Titan II Missile Museum today. I was actually using their antenna with my radio, trying to get my first uh, contact with the International Space Station. Didn't work out too well, but I'm never going to uh, allow that to ruin our day. We're going to make a couple of reviews here. And what kind of review channel would we be if we didn't review a radioactivity dosimer, or a, a device used to determine if you've been dosed with radioactivity to a level where it's going to cause problems. And uh, everybody, a lot of people were issued these. Obviously they used them here at the museum, well, when it was an actual silo, because they had to worry about things like, uh, oh, I don't know, 40 megaton uh, nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile from uh, leaking or anything. So I guess they would use these little rechargers and then the pens themselves. And let's see if we can actually get the pen to work through the camera here. The way you work it is you hold it up to the light. So you would hold this pen up to the light and you can see that there's a scale in there and there's an up and down line that would indicate how many of those, what does it say, protogens or something, you're uh, about to, or you had been exposed to. You would, uh, of course I haven't read the instructions but everybody knows how to work a dosimer. You would unscrew this thing. Then you would take the dosimer itself and sort of push down in the socket and that's going to turn a light bulb on inside. You could look through the dosimer then and see the scale and use that knob to the right to adjust it back to zero. Now that it's reset you'd carry that around with you and if you were exposed to any radiation the dosimer is sensitive enough that that's going to change the dial in there and that's going to give you a, an idea of how much exposure you had to radiation. So it's a pretty neat little piece of Cold War history. These were made in about 1960-61. Thanks for watching.